Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad algebra problem and here we have x plus y equals to 5 and x multiply y equals to 5. And now we solve this problem for the values of x and y. So here we find these two values of x and y. So here the very first step we are going to do is here first we call this as equation number 1 and we call this as equation number 2. So we have these two equations. And uh, now uh, we first implies our equation number one. And this is equation number one. So we first find the value of y from this equation. And we have value of y. So we move this x to the right hand side and it will become 5 minus x. And we call this as equation number three. So now we substitute this value of y in equation number two. So our equation number two implies that we have x times of y so we have x and the value of y is 5 minus x and this whole equation equals to 5. So here we need little bit simplification so we multiply this x on both of these terms and we get 5x minus x squared and this is 5. So we move this, uh, these two terms to the right hand side and this is the negative x square so when we move to the right hand side it will become positive x square this is plus 5x and it will become minus 5x and this is plus 5 and this whole equation equals to 0. So now uh, here uh, this will become standard form of quadratic equation so now we use the quadratic formula in order to solve this equation so first we write the coefficients of this equation and the coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to minus 5 and c equals to plus 5. So uh, here we use the quadratic formula and our quadratic formula is written as x equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. So we put the values of a, b and c in this formula and we get here minus times of minus 5 plus minus square root of b square so our b is minus 5 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 5 and this whole divided by 2 times of a so now in the next step uh, here we need some simplification so this minus times of minus becomes plus 5 and plus minus we have minus 5 square is 25 minus 4 times of 5 is 20 and its whole square root and it is divided by 2. So now in the next step we have 5 plus minus 25 minus 20 equals to square root of 5 and this whole equation is divided by 5. So here we get two values of x and we call the first value of x is x1 and it will be denoted by a positive value so it will become 5 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and its negative value is x2 equals to 5 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 so we have these two values of x and we denote it by x1 and x2 and now we find the corresponding values of y from these values of x so here we copy down equation number 3 so our equation number 3 implies that here you see that this is equation number 3 y equals to 5 minus x so we copy down this equation here y equals to 5 minus x so now we find the value of y from these two values of x so we call the value of uh, y from corresponding to x1 is y1 and it is equals to 5 minus x and our x is 5 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and now we take lcm of these two terms and we get 10 minus 5 minus square root of 5 so here we get 5 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 so this is the value of y1 corresponding to the value of this x1 so similarly uh, we find the value of y from corresponding to value of x2 so we call this as y2 equals to 
5 minus x2 and over x2 is 5 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 then we get here y2 equals to 10 minus 5 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 then we get the value of y2 equals to 5 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 so this is the value of y2 so here we have two values of x1 and y and two values of y so we we find the final solutions of the given problem are x1 and y1 equals to the value of x1 is you see here 5 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and we write it here 5 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and the value of y1 is 5 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 so this is the first solution and our second solution is x2 y2 equals to so we write our second solution here so the value of x2 is 5 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 and the value of y2 is 5 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 so we have these two solutions of the given problem and now we verify these two equations is these two equations satisfied our given question statement or not so here we copy down the given question statement it is x plus y equals to 5 and over x y equals to 5 so this is the given question statement and now we just verify now one of these two, two solutions so we verify this solution and in this solution we have the value of x and y is these two so we substitute these two values here and this implies that here you have x plus y so when you put these two values here it will become 5 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 this is the value of x and 5 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 this is the value of y and this whole equals to 5 so similarly we put these two values here and it will become 5 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 and 5 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 and this whole equals to 5. So now we uh, simplify these two equations and we verify its answers. So now first we take the LCM of these two terms. So our LCM is 2 and we get 5 minus square root of 5 plus 5 plus square root of 5 equals to 5. So here you see that this is negative and positive term are gone and we get 5 plus 5 becomes 10 over 2 equals to 5 and 10 over 2 becomes 5 equals to 5. So over these two solutions verify our first equation and now we check these two solutions in second equation and in this equation uh, here we multiply its denominators and we get 2 times of 2 is 4 and 5 minus square root of 5 and 5 minus square root of 5 uh, so this is 5 plus square root of 5 and it will be equals to 5 square minus square root of 5 and its whole square equals to 5 and we get here 5 square becomes uh, 25 and this scale and scale root are gone and we get 5 over 4 equals to 5 and this 25 minus 5 is 20 over 4 equals to 5 and this 4 5 is 20 and we get 5 equals to 5 so this shows that our solution satisfies second equation also so now finally we say that we have these two solutions and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos